Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Today, I start with a warning. Don't do this procedure when you don't know what you're doing. And don't do this procedure when you don't feel comfortable about this. So, I found one post on the Manjaro website, on the forum, where it says that when you update your U-boot, you can actually boot from an M2 NVMe drive. And for the Pinebook Pro, you do need the adapter and of course an M2 NVMe drive. And previously, not all U-boots supported this on the Pinebook Pro. And here it said that someone tried it and it does support directly booting from the NVMe drive. Uh, apparently it doesn't resolve the problem with the LCD after a warm reset. So, but I want to stay as close as possible for the time being with Manjaro. And that's something I didn't pay attention to, but actually with some releases, you do get an update of U-Boot. So in this case, we have the release or the update from the 9th of May. And when we go to all the updated packages, So we need to find the U-boot of whoops, the Pinebook Pro. So here you can see that the U-boot for the Pinebook Pro was updated. So as I said, you do get the new U-boot, but you have to install it manually. So this is where I found this post and this is also one of the reasons why I'm warning people that if you don't need this because you don't have the M2 adapter or when you don't feel comfortable about this then it's probably better that you don't do this on your own because you can brick your Pinebook Pro and to fix it, you probably need to open it, take the EMMC out and flash it again and put it back in. So here it says that you don't need to mess with the master boot record and you only need to write the U-boot. So what this means is that you can skip the first two parts and just go directly to the third part. I will leave a link to this post in the description of my video. And just to show, or that's something you can check yourself. So first of all, you can do LSBLK because you need to know how to address your boot disk. So in my case, and when you're running Manjaro, that's probably MMC BLK. But just run this command and then you can see for yourself. So when you go to the boot directory, you can actually see that a new file is available. So this one is from the 8th of May and the other file is also from the 8th of May. Now, you can copy this command and here is a little thing. 
that you need to to change the x to 2 and one of the annoying things is is that if you do it like this you might think you have done something but I'm not really sure where it was writing because as I said the boot drive is MMC BLK so you need to replace the X with a 2 and when you copy the second command this second command actually misses the dd command so when you try to execute it like this it will tell you something about how to use sudo so that way you know that something didn't go right so as you can see with the command above you actually want to execute dd and that's not available here so you need to go put dd directly after sudo and also here you need to replace the x with in this case the 2 and now you have updated your u-boot so the last thing you should do or at least the last step that you should do now is reboot and hopefully everything went fine and it will reboot correctly and otherwise as i said before if something went wrong for whatever reason then you need to open up your pinebook pro take out the emmc and try to flash it again with a proper image so that's all for today and again don't do this when you don't need it and don't do this on your own when you don't feel comfortable about this with that said i hope to see you again in my next video